it's been a while, and we've been up to a big project. What big project have we been up to? And what other adventures will be in store in this episode of School of Hard Knocks? Hello, welcome back. It's been a while. There was a hiatus, but we'll show you why in a moment. While you were gone, we've bulked up this cow pen. Actually, this is the second time I bulked it up. While I was on the big project, which is why there was a hiatus, I bulked this all up and killed them all, almost. On top of that, we finished the chicken coop, which is right here. During that time, there was a bug where various blocks or in this case doors would just randomly disappear reinstalled the door chicken coop is getting fairly big nothing new in the main house nothing new over there at the farm you might remember we were building a structure over yonder which i'm not looking at yet for a reason it's because i want to show you what we've been up to now the plans were to build a recovery center and make the new village in this area. Then I realized, a little too hilly, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. And speaking of the opposite direction, this is what I've built and took so long to do. This is the rehabilitation center. And as you can see... It's got a quote-unquote fancy schmancy front. Not really much of one, but good enough for what I want. As you can see, there is a buffer zone around the building. It, the fences have torches, so nothing spawns inside. And the buffer provides two things. One, being on hard level. Doesn't allow the zombies to get anywhere near these doors. Although, I think, just to be safe, we'll throw a couple torches there and at the farthest point creepers will not detonate you can be closer to them behind a fence so there's a buffer there anyway let's take the grand tour shall we this is the main hallway it splits into four and oh I haven't quite finished it actually now that I look at it but each of these rooms because they will be zombie villagers being cured have gates instead of doors because as we know in hard difficulty they break down doors but gates are okay and as you can see here buffer zone as well it's the same through same throughout and again just to be safe we'll add some torches there just to be sure and we get the same treatment over here and the same I forgot to put things there forgot to put anything over there treatment so we, that's a punch list item and upstairs which is over here is we got the recreation room which is basically a couch and a uh, table with chairs let's say I actually I was not a patient but I have visited patients in a um, rehabilitation places this is how I know what the setups are visiting room where you talk with patients of course this is just for show and we got the combination dining hall and kitchen, which in this case is actually serving as a uh, crafting area, more or less. Ovens with nothing in them quite yet. And right now, as I said, because it's more crafting, it's more of construction material. Again, it's more for show for the time being. And some dining tables. And over here is El Presidente the Institution. Basically, here's the president's seat, and here's where people work. So anyway, this is what the corner rooms look like. Nice little architectural feature. Can't really do anything about that. 
it'll look ugly regardless, no matter which way we face them. So you can see we got the old transom over the door treatment. Then over here, the Plan Village observation deck, which overlooks this cleared out section of land in which a planned village will go. And as you can also see, I've fenced off the two openings that go into that abandoned mine shaft. There are gates to go in. As you can see, there are gates to go in on that side. Might not be able to see it over there, so I'll put it at the top so the distorted perspective will show it. There you go. And one over there as well. They are in the center. And of course, this building is the fourth entrance exit. So, now you get the tour of the building, and it took a very long time to make. And that's where the hiatus pretty much came to be. And again, again we have this uh, buffer zone. That's more of a just-in-case, although I think we could probably get rid of that. But maybe just a just-in-case. One of the things I'll need to do is put a crap load of torches in here so as not to have anything spawn within. As you can also see, we got the buffer zone, so a Creeper could walk right up, right up to the fence. You can say, hey, Creeper, how you doing? Hey, I'm behind a fence. You can't do anything to me. That's because that'll be true. And, of course, we got the gates heading out. Grass to get rid of. And as you can see, indicated by the two torches are the entrances to these mines. So one of the things I need to actually do is, besides eat some food, I meant, well, we went a little too far, is I'm going to cut down some trees, turn them, uh, make some coal, I'm trying to find the key that, so we can make some more torches. And then, as you can see, I, I'm not smart enough to do two things at once, pretty much. This will open up the village so we can see if we get surprise attacked, as well as, as I mentioned, help make some uh, charcoal so we can make some torches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. Then I'm going to... Make the charcoal and torches. Then start plopping them around because we really need to take care of that problem. Plus, maybe I might. No, I don't know. I might make a gate or two depending on how many torches I can make out of all this stuff. Okay, it's starting to get a bit dark now. I think it's a good time to run. Here's a view from the side, what it looks like. <laughs> As you can see, dormers took a while to make. So, like I said, this is a restocking the cow pen. This is the second time. I've also did a little rework lighting this. Oh, and during the hiatus, I lit the roof of this structure because creepers were actually spawning. And when I came out, I got bonsai attacked from behind twice. Hole got blown into the front of the building twice. And uh, some uh, malformed uh, terra firma there caused by the creeper doing a little surprise attack. And some more glass, some more of that wonderful stuff, more signage. Got a little more of that. We can make a golden apple, but what's the point? So I'm going to pause the video now and go do my work. Good morning. I didn't burn everything. I just did enough to make a crap load of torches. So that'll be one of our projects. I've mastered the art of... For the most part, dropping into the world like that. 
So I don't see any monsters, which is a good thing. I hear one. I hear some skellies. Don't know where they're at. So again, here's the building. And one of the things we definitely need to do, as I've mentioned, is we forgot to put gates in these doors. Very important. The side doors must be installed. This allows, well, three-way access that way, that way, and that way to bring in zombies. Although, maybe the first zombie or two we could bring in this way. So here we are. And again, there's the observation deck right there that can watch the planned community thrive and survive, hopefully. So that's the fun and excitement for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plop some torches so that hopefully nothing will spawn within. And this is a large project, and I'm sure you're not going to want to watch it. So what I'm going to do is line myself up with the next column, pause the video, and bring you back when I get it all done. Okay, as you can see, I got this whole thing lit. There should be no problem with monsters. Of course, we'll remove them as we build structures. Start building structures once we get some uh, tenants. So there you go. We got that all done. You might have heard some city sounds in the background because it's a nice day. I leave the window open. However, you might notice a lack of them now or much more subdued. That's because I live near a park and every Thursday, which is the day I'm recording this, and Tuesday there are concerts in the park. So yeah, we don't need that anymore. That was a trail to the uh, to those uh, underground caverns, which we don't really need that anymore now that we've got our little trail system. Anyway. We've got some stuff we need to put away as well that I failed to do to make make room for stuff. So here we go. This will be quick. I forgot to shut this door. Yeah, might as well keep everything professional. So ultimately when we make our village, we're going to have some decorations. Got some of this to build a house with. Maybe I'll put some of the oak wood there. In fact, you know what? I think I'll that makes sense also as you can see I've acquired from zombies some gold armor I did have a helmet that disappeared I've died a few times that also includes the uh, bonsai drops from the house that I mentioned about okay so we got all that wonderful stuff done so what should we do now it's getting dark and we're running there's nothing in here really but let's just light it up just so only you can prevent monsters See if there's anything in those holes, which doesn't look like there is. Just take one more peek in this hole. Nothing. We can leave that dark. There aren't any... There aren't any monsters that could spawn in a... One high... I mean, spiders could, but it's not deep enough. And that should be about it, really. Let's see how this looks as it gets dark. I know not the most exciting thing, but I wanted to show you this. I wanted to show you what the finished product sort of looks like. Ooh, look. A stumbling block. Let's get rid of that. 
just need to cut away quite a bit of the hill to accommodate this uh, this planned village as well as the buffer zone. As you can see, the layout isn't 100% perfect. When you line up at a 45 degree angle, you can see the torches kind of go askew a little bit. That's fine. Because I made sure that there were no more than a four block gap in between each torch. So every fifth block at the most, there's a torch. So I think we should start an adventure of some sort. So let's let's go and uh, hey, I know what we can do. We can go to the village. Remember the village, the legitimate village that we found? Let's do that after we sleep off the night. I didn't do anything else to this house, as you can see. It's the same as it's been. Except I put some torches on the... on the overhangs. Just to help creepers from not spawning in. If I step out, you can see I put some torchlight there. Two kabooms and rebuilds are enough. Oh, and speaking of creepers. One of these days, I don't think I've shown you this, is I would like to put a porch back here. And I never really got to that. Since creepers are where I want to be, I do have this kind of quasi-backup entry exit point, which... I mean, it's, I'm going to take some damage, but <laughs> better a tiny amount than a crap load. Okay. I <laughs> okay, I'm hitting every button but the one I want. There's some creepers. Let's... Let's, uh, let's engage in a little bit of, uh... Uh, you saw me coming. Oh, no, yeah, you did. I was going to say, you saw me coming and decided to leave. That would have been the smart thing for you to do. Alrighty. Okay, while I was building that, I have... Building that building, I have also used trees out this way to help clear out the path to the village represented by these three three uh, columns now I never show you how to get there so I'm gonna show you the trip there because uh, when I went looking for it I paused the video as it was rather a dull boring moment so basically you follow these pillars if they're visible at all. If they're not, you just go straight a little ways and ultimately you'll find another one. Now at some point it makes a hard left. So you gotta keep an eye out for that. I know it's in this wooded area. Because I was planning to keep going that way, but then I found the village, and I'm not paying attention to my food bar. Not good. Right now, health is good enough. I can let it. I can let the three hearts uh, slide for the time being, and I believe this might be where the hard left happens. Yep. In fact, so we can just. Uh, hard right. Because I'm going to make this map available, too. So I made the uh, little bump outs there let you know to turn. When I get this far enough, it will be available. And here we are, pretty much. I mean, once we get by this one more block, actually, we got a second one over there. 
And failed a jump. Good job. Yeah, this is going to go well. There's the village. As you've seen in a previous episode, we've uh, completely fenced it in so no zombies can get in. I found a flaw in my Watch Me Suck at Minecraft setup. So, I'm not sure if the flaw will be visible here. I hear a skeleton. jump here I think I'm positive that I made sure oops that the same flaw doesn't exist in this village because one of the things I should have done was brought something to trade with but I didn't I got it all well lit the annoying thing about making the village bigger, a lot of the, huh, huh. Oh, he's upset. Oh, yeah, that's real fair. I, I could just get the flint. Did I? No, I don't have that. That is not really a fair trade. That's interesting. Three diamonds. Not diamonds. He's just as bad. Anyone in here? No? Okay. I mean, if any of them had, uh. would accept wheat. Probably because you got wheat around, they're not gonna bother with that. Even right at you. There we go. Ooh, there we go. 19 of you. Okay. Let's move some stuff around. We don't need that. So. Go. No. That's a good trade. Oh, I only have 14? I can count. I are good at counting. Oops, don't want to hit you. That's good enough. Ding. There's one emerald. And apparently we can still do more. But what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to move some stuff around here including torches. There we go. Let's just clear this out for now. And I want to see the numbers. I am glad I found one that will accept something that is readily available here. I'll just grab the rest here. There we go. Ding. Ah, oh, too short. And this guy's a crook. Anyway, what I'll do is I'm going to pause the video, try to make more trades with this guy, because. He's the one that's pretty much giving away the uh, giving away the village for free. Be right back. Alrighty, five emeralds. I went around, got all the wheat that I could. That guy will still accept trades for emeralds. That's a good thing. He's got a future. I'm not sure about the others here. I'm up talking. I sound like a girl. It's because I'm. I kind of do that when I'm not really thinking very... I'm not sure what to do here. 
So let's just do that. Hello. Village is safe. I just want to see what you. Ooh, wow, what a deal. 27 paper for emerald isn't really all that bad either. So we get. Hold on here. Okay. Okay, right, that's someone different. Of course, this guy's still here. Oh, but we got another option now. An emerald for three bread. Well, that's called Indian giving. Anyway. Why are we all... Okay. Why are we all in one tiny building? Ten of those for... Yeah, you're a crook. It's not really much of a deal, but... I could just dig the gravel and get the four and uh, yeah I wanted to exit if I had 16 raw pork chops I could have given okay what about you uh, I can actually get redstone not exactly not exactly hard to get Let me let's see what you three have for nine cookies uh, they don't do much of anything really oh you too will do the wheat for the and so do you but what about you oh we got three of them that'll pretty much give away the village And no one in here. Okay, I think I pretty much went through the building. I mean, the, yeah, I went through the buildings, but I think I went through the... Hey, zombies. I think I missed this one. Yeah, there's no light in this building. Yeah, that should help. And I'm not sure if it's picking it up. I shut the window because of what's going on outside. Is they are... I Yeah, I mentioned it actually that they, they're doing concerts outside. Directly outside of the window almost. So I'm hoping that the WMG goodness is not picking up. And if it is, it's probably sounding more like noise than it is an actual... Uh, actual uh, what do you call it actual sound it's kind of a microphone's not exactly omnidirectional anyway and if you don't know what that means it means a microphone that works in all directions it's more aimed towards the user of this laptop you don't have any friends to help you do you that's why you die Oh, here comes a buddy of yours. Oh, look, there was a pig. I hear you, but I don't see you. Might be underground. I see a pig. It takes carrots to... What I might do is... Uh, I think we got carrots in here. Before we go on more of an adventure, let's just check. I want to see if we got carrots. I think we got them. Oh, that's wheat we know. Well, we should know that. And... Those are potatoes. That's ah, not going to work. I knew it was a little too good to be true. 
we had carrots, which don't exist in this village, we could have... Oh, jumping over this if I could. Not a good idea. Right into a ravine. Let's eat another... Eat another Moo Moo Patty. Let's do it behind us. Nice. And I do have this on hard, right? Let's just be sure. Yep. Hence the name School of Hard Knocks. That just seemed a bit easy for hard. Let's, let's go after Creeper. Hey, Creeper. I got a nice new fancy sword. Want to play? Well, it's not new. We're just killing time and enemies. Oh, I wish we... And carrots. This helps with the experience points up. We got ourselves Enderman. So let's, while keeping an eye out for things, Build ourselves an Enderman shelter, as I call it. Yeah, that'll be enough. Three Endermen! I thought they only limited themselves to two. See if we can get some pearls. There's one. And nothing there. Partially built a uh, structure worked. We got ourselves another ourselves another uh what you might call it. oh. He's still there. Go on, go. And the question is, is he going to come to us? There's a creeper over there. We gotta worry about that too. Oh, how I wish there were. Well, now it's day, so they're not gonna care too much. Let's just look around here. I see a skeleton burning up. Uh, I was hoping I'd get him. No. Hey, a planes. A planes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I are good at grammar. Anyway, let's, uh, not go in there. Let's just look around this plane. See if we can spot anything that looks like a, uh... Let's see. Before I actually go anywhere. Wherever we find water, we build a tall tower. So we can actually, I think 20 is good enough. Okay, we don't want that. And so we can see it, and we put it near water, so we can jump in nice and safe. Jump. And jump. And jump. It's been a while since I did one of these. So, yeah, more pigs over here. I wish there were carrots in that village. So, I'm telling you, we could. We could literally make a killing off that village. Alright, let's explore this side. See what we could find here, if anything. Uh. Okay, we're starting to get a little far away from that pillar. Oh, we got a swamp. I think we might have... Splat. We might have explored that one before. Yeah, we can still see the pillar. 
Oh, separate desert. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Oh, look what I found! Horsies! I found horsies, but I don't have a saddle. Well, that was not really that hard. I don't know if I'm just being lucky. Because when I did my Watch Me Suck World, I'm purposely making this tower a bit taller. So I can definitely see it. And I know where I can find the horsies. I don't have a saddle. That kind of sucks. Splash. Wish one of them offered a saddle, because I know that's something a villager can do. Actually, since I'm here, let's go look at this desert. We are finding adventure today, which is a good thing. Adventure, even when it's not holes. Good thing. I have not explored this desert yet. Floating pigs. Well, we know they don't float. It's just a matter of... Uh, I don't need iron. I was going to say I could build a compass, find my way back, but... If we can keep it at simple 90 degree angles... Should be fine. So let's see what we can find out here, if anything at all. Bad jump. Keep back out this way a little. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Now we're just waiting for one more drumstick to disappear. Uh, actually, what I'd like to do. Did I take all my cobble? No, I didn't. Is... Okay, move. Okay, there we go. There's a pillar. And it doesn't have to be exactly next to the water. Make it high enough. Let's see, will 16 do? Yeah, that should be enough. Curse splash. Alright, that'll let us know the way home. Now to kind of scan this side. Okay, we can see all that. We can see that pillar and that pillar. Might be a little too close together. while exploring good enough anything out here we'll just keep going this way a little bit here we got a swamp Pillar is starting to disappear. Oh, you can still kind of see it. Just move around a little bit. We'll we know where it is. And if we get lost in a section, just run around the desert till we pretty much. Find where we are. I think this is all there is on this side. How are we doing on time? Alrighty, I guess. And again, I'm ignoring my uh, food bar because I'm just that good. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything that way. All right, bounce trot. Here we go. 
Hopefully we'll find something. Desert continues. So it appears. What I might do is when I see, I might put a pillar over here. Yeah, desert kind of continues. So I'm going to build 16 high just to see. Yeah, we can see. I think this is probably one of the, if not the longest continuous video segment in the series of School of Hard Knocks. I have, I'm positive I've never gone this long before. Okay, what I might do because, you know, there's just too much good stuff on me right now is... When it gets dark, I might just pillar up and wait the night out. There, you know, there is a time to. Hey, water, water well, doesn't mean anything. What I'm saying is, there is a time to be brave and fight, and then when you got all this nice fancy stuff on you, there's also a time to play it safe and not be stupid. Every once in a while I do the right thing. Oh wow, this desert keeps going. Do we have any water nearby? A dungeon? Eh, probably not. Okay, that pillar is still visible. Just put a dinky one there because there ain't any water nearby. Boy, this is a big patch of desert. Okay, then we get into winter territory over here. Ignore the food meter again. This time it's high enough that I can regenerate. Well, I know I'm going in the opposite direction of home, which happens to be where the sun is setting. Wow, this desert just goes on and on and on. This may be a very long trip It just does not stop. I mean, I think it might have finally stopped over here. No, it keeps going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Keeps on going and going and going. And unlike the Energizer, Energizer bunny, as I'm trying to say, I'm going to be stopping. Because like I said, there is a time to fight and be brave. And then there are times that it's just plain stupid. Because look at all the loot I have. I got an ender pearl, an emerald. It's all pretty far away from home. We don't want to lose that stuff, so we're going to play it safe pillar up. Let's take a look at this never-ending desert, which is pretty nice. thing I know is if I go to the end of the desert and keep going, ultimately I'll find home anyway, which means when I get lost, if I do, I'm going to wind up failing to find my way home anyhow. All right, pillared up. Going to wait the night out. Better safe than sorry at this point with all that stuff and being far from home. We'll be back in a moment. 
Okay, I pillared myself down while I was up there. I didn't notice it till now. This dungeon. Let's explore. Because maybe there's some goodies in here. And a spawner that needs to be destroyed. I could use some more of this cobblestone, so... Dig some of that out as well. We could use this sand for glass in the future. Let's see what it is. Spider. Not anymore. I think I got ripped off here. Nope, there's a chest. Okay, that, that's all there is, but it might be good. Let's find out. Hey, name tag! Uh, but no saddle. Yeah. Redstone. Could use that. I run ingots. Some creeper guts. String. Could make a bow and arrow finally. Well, I got the arrows. And two music discs that I pretty much probably will never use. Alright, so before we go, let's chuck that and that. We don't really need it. Alright, we are still looking over here as the desert that never ends keeps growing and growing and growing until we hit water. Then the desert goes this way. And it ch oh. I was gonna say it just finished raining. I don't know why it's raining again. It's because it hasn't finished raining. We're in a desert. And it started raining that night. And chunk fail. Look at them chunks not load in properly. Uh, we don't really care much for another planes for the time being. So we're just gonna bounce our way back to where we were and uh, bounce back to where we were. Now, if we only got a saddle, then I could have taken one of the horses home. Then I would need to make an anvil, which, if someone like me, it's kind of moderate skill, because you gotta find a crap load of iron. Need is nine, thirty-one pieces. after I was putting it away. All right, let's, let's... Let's shortcut. Okay, let's shortcut. It's time's a wasting. And ignore that jump. Hey, we got some coal. We could use that, but just to be safe. And it should keep us safe for now. Let's get ourselves some coal. Not the most entertaining thing on the planet. I'll just see how deep this goes. Well, it's not going to be much longer. Because if it looked like it was going to keep going and going, I was going to pause the video and... Okay, one more. So... 
There we go. Uh, more coal over here. Well, you know what? Since we're not in dire need for it right now, we'll just skip that. We know where there is some. And now to explore this part of the desert. Because we haven't seen this section yet. I think we might have seen everything. Everything that we're going to see. More planes. Don't really care about that. Okay, I think we've seen enough. So... Now the thing we're looking for is maybe another dungeon. That looks kind of squarish. Uh, uh, is it? I don't know. But like I said, I need the sand. I think we found another one. And we don't have a way out, so... Actually, we kind of need to... Here we go. Oh, dungeon dungeon. Got a dungeon dungeon. There, we got the most important one. Okay, we kind of need dirt. That'll do. Gonna do is put a light over here. Zombie. Kill this before it has a chance. Double chest. We like that. This is what we gotta do for now. Like that. Take two. And you know what? There. And now keep us safe. Let's see what we got here. Uh, well, not going to open yet. Oh, finally. I wish we could stack, but we can't. Don't care about the CD. That might help. Name tabs. Can we stack those? Yes, we can. Good. Now we got those. We can use iron buckets. Now we could get rid of redstone. Might seem stupid, but don't really need it. All right. Okay. All right, so a oh boy. So we did what we wanted and screw up. So what we're going to do is head back to the village. We're going to pause the video and get back to you from there. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah, upon finding my way back home, I found this village, which I somehow overlooked. Not sure how, why, when, if, how. I already said how. Stutter. Here's a village. I think we might just hide out for the for the night, pretty much. Just thought I'd share that with you, and what I'll probably do is just put my 
super important stuff in here right now. The stuff I'd really be PO'd to lose. Buckets might not seem like a big thing, but I'll take it. We'll put the gold as part of that. Another apple, loaf of bread. We can, we can do that. Then put some boots on. And that'll be it for now. And see you in the morning. Well, <laughs> I'm back in this village again. And as you can see, a wood sword and all that. It's because when I found that other village, it got attacked. I died. Had to come back here. Made some baked potatoes. I've made two beds. One for this village. One for the other one if I could find it again. That way I don't have to go walking around trying to find things again. So, yeah, once again, another death off camera. And, of course, I could be completely dishonest and not mention that I died whatsoever. So the only food they had available were baked potatoes. So, that's the food I got. So now the thing is, <laughs> I gotta try to find that desert village that I completely failed to defend. And I'll pretty much show you why. And it pretty much shows how much I suck at this game. Alright, I did make it back. Got all my stuff back. And the sun is setting, and a couple of villagers did survive the siege. Let's show you. Look at all this jaggediness that I had to deal with. I know it's a lame excuse, but it's something. So, I'm just going to punch this guy while we have a little time. Wait for these villagers to make their way. I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to wait for the villagers to make their way into a building. Hopefully they'll do it soon. I'm going to follow them around. It's getting dark, guys. Up oh, there, scrambling. Here we go. Oh, there's a door right there. Get in. Are you seriously that dumb? Okay. Okay, where's the leak coming from? Six has some weird issues. I'm protecting you guys now. Okay. You need to find a home. Seriously. You gotta. I gotta protect what little is here now. Then what I'll do is put more doors in. Let's put a dirt pillar of believability in. Not that dirt pillars are all that believable to begin with. But it goes with the game. Alright, do we have everybody in a safe place? Because one of the things we gotta do is get all the doors put back on light and fence in this village got a skelly over there got his attention which I didn't really want to do good 
so let's see how we're going to handle things here. Okay, I can leave this corner dark because nothing can spawn in that. Alright, one of the things we definitely need to do... I do need that those mushrooms. They seem so insignificant, but they are very important. What we need to do is we need to put doors in these buildings. Which I think what I'll do is bed here, sleep the night away. So you can see I was blown up by a creeper. Although you just saw a Cree. And what we'll do is build two of those. Again, with the... Oh, crud. Oh, wait. That's right, there's another chest I put all the very important stuff in. Well, we'll put that there. What I'll do with this house, so I know it's very important, is... Pretty much... Put a crap load of torches in like that. We need that, we could use that, we could use that. We ultimately can use that. As well as the bread. Let's make a few doors and do some repair work in the village. There we go. Grab what we can. Because the more doors a village has, the better chance, should I say, the more doors that a village has, which is the weird thing about how Minecraft works, the more villagers a village will have. Alrighty, that's the timer telling us that we're pretty much done, but this is kind of a project that needs to get done and not lose sight of it. Just plug in these jaggies over here because they ultimately caused our problems. wonder why those leak now. So just go around the village a little bit. Okay, some were hiding in here. I know it's not really a house, but they do hide out in here. So, door there. We got, we've blockaded villagers in there for their safety. We got a door in there. Let's just light up the interior a little bit. There we go. I'm not going to go on much longer. But the more we find... I mean, it was a complete, total, utter failure trying to keep this whole village safe. It just didn't work. Try as I might, I failed. But since we don't have any villagers in these buildings, it's not going to hurt too much that put doors in these now. They're not going to bother with them because no villagers exist. Okay, I think that might... Nope, that ain't everything. This is the last door, and this is where I will end the end the episodes it's running a little longer than usual not that they don't run long enough 
Let me okay, I need a way up here. And we'll end it with plopping a door there. And there we go. Eat a rotten flesh. And one of the punch list items we need to do is secure this very hilly village. All these hills interfered with the ability to do my job. And of course, it's where I died. As you saw me collect the stuff. Anyway, jungle ruin there. Or no jungle, maybe. Hopefully a ruin. That's this episode of School of Hard Knocks. Once again, another death you didn't get to see on camera. Lucky me, or maybe not. Georgia551 saying, hope you enjoyed. Glad we're back and got that big project out of the way. And hope you enjoyed. Again, have a good one.